Yo, guys, what's going on? Ape Escape 2. Ladies and gentlemen, this game just makes me happy. This is like, this is just a game that makes me joyous, you know? Like Kingdom Hearts 1, right? Makes me happy, but it doesn't, it doesn't fill me with like, childlike joy in the way that this game does. This sparks joy. As this KH1, all the KH games, they spark joy, but like this just turns me into like a second grader again. It's, it's ridiculous. There's just like the, just like the unabashed, unashamed level of fun that this game has to offer. It's just pure, pure monkey capturing action from start to finish. Very little bullshit, you know? I'm excited. Um, good day today. I think it's going to be a good day because not only do I get to play Ape Escape 2, but the KH2 Heartless and Nobody Compendium is coming out at 7 p.m. is the estimated time. I have to actually stream today is going to be for sure a three hour thing. We're gonna end at 5 p.m. my time, just so I have some time to get everything together, get all my my ducks in a row, so to speak. But um, we are gonna do this and get as far as we can today. I feel like this could be like a two a two stream game. Um. <laughs> Yo, house music, living up to the name. <laughs> yeah, let's get the remix. Get on the remix. Um. So, I feel like most people aren't familiar with Ape Escape. Like, I feel like it's kind of more of a, uh, like, it's known, obviously. Like, it's it was one of the big, like, Sony properties. I mean, I don't even say it was ever a big Sony property. It was, like, you know, a mid-level one. I would say, like, Ape Escape back in, you know, the PlayStation 1 era was to Sony as, like, Pikmin is to Nintendo. It's, like, it's there, but it's, you know, it's not, like, one of the, uh, the main staples, I guess. Like, they put the... The character uh, Spike, the protagonist from the first game, in their version of uh, Smash Bros. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, because it rolls off the tongue, right? Um, but you know, they they haven't done anything with it in a couple of years. I, I think over ten, actually. Um, at least they haven't done a mainline game like this since 2005, I believe, or six is when Ape Escape Three came out. Um, <laughs> so we're just gonna watch the cutscenes. You know, there's a lot of a uh, lot of story. Let me just uh, recap Ape Escape 1 for you. Um, a bunch of monkeys escaped, and they were all ca captured and uh, brought back to the monkey park. There was a very smart monkey named Spectre, who was the leader of the monkeys. Um, he had, like, a big brain. Yeah, deep Ape Escape lore. What's unfortunate is that I grew up with the, obviously, the American version of this game, and that's not on the PS4 store for whatever reason. Um, so... In the original, not the original, but like in the U.S. version, um, Jimmy, the protagonist, is voiced by the same lady who voiced Ash Ketchum in the original Pokemon anime. And then Natalie, the orange hair girl, is actually voiced by the Misty voice actress. But these are just random British people as far as I'm aware, so it's kind of a bummer. But it was like a little Pokemon reunion. Also, they, they use the Japanese... Like the Americanized, uh... but some of them are. Some of them aren't, and some of them are. I think. <laughs> yeah, she was just Misty, and he was just Ash, and it was like, whoa. And all the monkeys wear pants. They wear color-coded pants. Um, the basic bitch monkeys are yellow pants. We'll discover all of the other. Pants, uh, abilities as we play the Isn't game. Cool. Also, he has a band-aid on his nose. He has no nose, I don't think. I think that's why he has the band-aid there. Because she doesn't have a nose. I think Jimmy is self- oh, Sorry, Hikaru. Hikaru in the European and Japanese version. <laughs> yeah. But look, they're having so much fun. So he's the really smart villain monkey. And it's literally just, like, the same thing is happening. It's very much, uh, not, they're not worrying about, like, oh, what should we do this time? No, I just let the monkeys out again. And that's what they do in Ape Escape 3. In Ape Escape 1, it was time travel. In Ape Escape 2, it was just, like, it's just, like, throughout the world. It was, like, you know, a big, uh, world tour. And then in Ape Escape 3, it was, like, they had made their own TV channel, and they were, um, broadcasting, uh, brainwashing monkey 
materials to the world and making everybody stupid. Okay, I'll fix things! The speedruns for this game are ridiculous. You can just basically fly in the air. I, I have no idea how to do it. Hello, Blunder Deed. We're just gonna catch the monk. <laughs> so yeah, like, they've, uh, they've taken over, um, Liberty Island, you know? The apes are indeed escaping. It's time. <laughs> Throw up your Clayton emotes. It's time to capture- oh yeah, so this is a very strange, uh, game in terms of controls. Um, and, you know, this was something that was the case in the original Ape Escape on PS1. But, um, you actually jump with R1 or, uh, R2. Which is so bizarre, um, because they use all the face buttons. I don't know, like, I'm showing you the face buttons as if they're not on the screen and as if you're not familiar with a PlayStation controller. But, um, the face buttons use the gadgets. So you actually get, like, different gadgets as you go throughout the game, and they all get assigned to the face buttons. Um, so this is the Stun Club. You just fucking hit the monkey, then you switch to the net. That's George. Just curtains for George. We got, I think this is Libby here. Get fucking caught, Libby. Yeah, there you go. Libby like Liberty. Aped. The ape escaped. Yo, Androshny, what's up? The apes have escaped. Also, there's these weird pig things. I don't know. Also, the coins work on like a multiplier thing. So it's like you get enough coins, they turn into five coins, and you get enough five coins, they turn into ten coins. It's just fucking... it's, it's in intense. It's intense. If it was in a circus, it would be intense. BAM! That's it. That is, uh, chill. The voice actor for the main kid, the UK voice actor for Dennis the Menace, and Budgie the Helicopter. I'm not familiar with Budgie the Helicopter, but I do know Dennis the Menace. Mm hmm They desperately need a fourth game is what they need, as well. So there's like, um, you only have to catch a certain amount of monkeys per stage to, like, clear it. Welcome to the travel stick. This has been our new home since you blasted the lab. You blasted the lab! You bloody idiot! I always thought the travel station was so cozy. It's just like this little... I don't know. I guess Natsumi built it out of the ruins of her room. And there's like the collectibles in this game. There's so many collectibles. Um, <coughs> most of it is one through the, the gotcha box. Which I encourage is gambling. That device over there is the gotcha box. <coughs> Sorry, like a very uh, itchy throat today. Boom. Oh, these are always the worst prizes. Monkey fables. These are basically just fairy tales with monkey references instead. Um, not interested. We're gonna skip that. But you can get, like, concept art. Um, you can get the soundtrack from the game. You can get, uh, hints. Enemy pictures. This is one of those. Look at that. That's the porky. You're not gonna get that level of detail anywhere. What's up, Ruthie? Windy? Yeah, this is a PS2 game, Red Nether. Um, the first one was on PS1, and then 2 and 3 were on PS2. There were some um, offshoot, like, spin-off things, I think, on PSP and the Vita, I believe. This is the monkey radar. It's kind of useless to me, because I'm an Ape Escape Master. I know where all the monkeys are. Um, we're not going to bother with the gadget trainer. It just shows you how to use it. <laughs> That's right. PS Move? Yeah. Yeah, I re I've really never played anything but the main three. How many streams? Uh, I did a Cage 2 Level 1 um, back on yesterday. No. What, what's today? Saturday? <laughs> I did it on Thursday. Um, I think that's it, because you were here for the end of Spyro 3. What's up, you? Yeah, I'm interested in spin-offs either. I'm not sure what, um, like, what location this is attempting to parody. Like, there's windmills, um, is that like a s Swedish thing? Switz <laughs> Switzerland? I don't know, we were in New York, obviously, the last time. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Holland? Yeah, that, that might be it. It's called Breezy Village. Ow! That monkey threw a rock at me, and he's gonna get clubbed twice. Oh, another! And there's this tomato bird. It's just, this whole game is fucking zany. I'm getting owned. Get back here. Come here. Come here. Hey! Oh my god. You have sinned. Pay for your sins. Pay for your sins. You can do this. Come here! I told you I was gonna hit you twice. Come here. I know Pipichi. Oh, Pipichi's a little monkey riding your head. He's a good monkey. These ones are sinners. There you go. Walter. <laughs> yeah, Ape Escape Master gets owned by Walter. Aqua 
aqua blue pants. Oh yeah, so the ones with light blue pants. Um, see, in America we say aqua, but in the UK they haven't refined the language yet, so they say aqua. Shout out to Nova. <laughs> um, we're gonna kill this pig, and then this monkey in here. See, he's timid, right? He's what uh, some corners of the internet might call a beta monkey. We're just gonna club him and catch him. <laughs> John. There you go. Yeah, I would rather a proper fourth game, for sure. I mean, this is the repeatable formula, you know? Just make fun levels, hide monkeys in them, give them new abilities. That's the thing, they never really expanded on uh, the abilities too much of the monkeys. There you go, Krusty. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Actually, they told me. They told me that you uh, confronted them. <laughs> thank you for defending my honor. I can't believe they made me do that Cage 2 April Fool's video. We got uh, some lore coming up, I think. Oh, wait, no. That's another maybe two episodes or two levels from now. Hey, Kairu? Are you. Sorry, I missed what she said. Um, there we go. So, this, I believe, is supposed to be Italy. <clears throat> That's right, Carly. Motherfucking ape escape. <laughs> there you go, Wendy. Someone's gotta do it, right? Listen. I, uh, I, you know, it's not always about doing what you love. It's sometimes about doing what you have to do. But, uh, for those of you who have joined since the beginning, the Cage 2 Nobody and Heartless Compendium is coming out. Oh, why did I go in the Gadget Trainer? Whatever. Um, can I exit it, actually? Yeah, let's, I don't need to do this. Um... The compendium for KH2 is coming out at 7 Eastern today. At least that's the plan. So, look forward to that if you're into that. Ape Escape for PS5? Yes, with all new controller feature, yeah. What's going on, Gnobal? I haven't heard patty cake since maybe middle school. <laughs> Definitely got that a lot, though, back in the day. <laughs> Make Bio do a Zig Bar's the best character video for next March Creeps. <laughs> there you go. I think uh, Sewer Butterbuns might be above our pay grade. I think she's uh, <laughs> she's got like 700 subscriber or 700k subscribers rather. This should help. Kenoble gifted a sub to the Angriest Owls. Listen, I'd rather have Angry Owls than Angry Apes, you know. Let's go. Ba, 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 ba. Thank you, Kenoble. Kicking off the Ape Escape 2 stream with a sub for the Angriest Owls. Ah, you fucking pig. Ba, ba, ba. Ooh, goddamn. Ooh, I'm actually I'm actually quite good at this game when I'm not streaming. <laughs> I haven't played it in a while as well. Oh no! Uh Kenobel get this up the androgyny. Thanks, Kenobel. Kenobel's just like these fucking starless names. I can't stand it! And to Red Nether, 158 Danny Boy, 158 subs from Kenobel in this channel. That monkey was just enjoying his tea. Shawnee Boy and Johnny Boy. They ride together, they die together, you know? Opinions? <laughs> that's Dolan. <laughs> that's that's where Dolan comes from. Like, people didn't say Dolan until that comic was a thing. That was, like, back in 2011 or so, I believe, when that got big. But uh, I thought the Dolan uh, memes were hilarious. Wasn't there a... Oh, no, the other one was Chill. That one was Chili. Woo, Chile. Yes, good job. <laughs> Listen, I've been on these streets, these mean internet streets. Um, where do I want to go? The camera's a little weird in this game. You actually, you know, it's like classic style where you're using the uh, triggers to move it instead of the right... Because you use the right analog to swing. The left to move, right one to swing. Yeah, they do kind of resemble sock monkeys, don't they? I'm gonna get these coins and then you're gonna meet your fate, alright? I'm gonna get these coins. But clearly I need to win some cookies. Oh, I forgot that they could attack, little bastard. Lilo! Was Lilo and Stitch out yet? I think it was. This was 2003, and that was 2002. Damn, I forgot how to swim. Yeah, Gooby as well. <laughs> I feel like I'm fine all day, and when I start streaming, I cannot go, like, two minutes without coughing. All the coins sink to the floor. Man, look at that detail. The level of detail. We're not gonna get them because it's not worth our time. We need this cookie for sure. We're gonna die. I don't want to die on the third level of Ape Escape 2. Bonk. I'm pretty sure that monkey up there is named Bidet because he's getting his ass blasted with water. I don't like it, I don't. 
Um, I have not read the mangas, um, but I did do a video on the manga. Um, my friends Chain and Sam, um, they quizzed me on stuff from the manga, and I had to guess whether or not it was real or something that they made up. It was... Oh, you... Okay. <laughs> Uh, two is my favorite. I actually, I like them all, but one is like my least favorite. I just think it has an age as well as the other ones. But yeah, I would say 2-3-1. And I was saying yesterday, that's the only time I will rank something in that order. 2-3-1. Top banana? Top banana? See, in the, uh, in the Americas, we would say banana. Oh, Edmundo Garcia, there you go. I recognize that uh, as a comment. Vector, you cheeky fuck! You bloody wanker! So you didn't learn your lesson even after being beaten by Kikaru. Oh yes, I suppose I didn't play my cards right. So, oh yeah, they're just showing. Uh, they kept the Japanese subtitles in the flashback, which I think is funny. Oh yeah, so the Freaky Monkey 5 is like the main, um, yeah, she sounded just like Misty in the original, it's, it sucks that, it, I don't know why they would make it so the only, uh, available version of the game was the European one. Oh, congrats, Windy. No problem, me and my noseless face, we will not let you down. Yeah, 3 is, um... Three like literally has dry forms. Um, <laughs> like there are dry forms in three, and it's uh, I think it predates Cage Two, which is hilarious. If it's 2005, then I think it did. A fortune. Today's fortune, guys. This is all of our fortunes. Okay. It seems you will be able to eat lunch without leaving one crumb. Your fortune's good, guys. That's great. That's a great fortune. That means we're gonna eat all of our lunch. Yeah. Your protagonist uh, kills <laughs> whatever uh, teammates he has and drives. We got the Liberty Island soundtrack. I'm kind of looking for some cookies here, because I'm, I'm about to die. Another monkey fable. God damn it. Nightmare Scenario Part 2. Not interested. Alright, whatever. So Viva Ape Spania might be based on Spain. <clears throat> A cheeky Greggs. I'm sending this gotcha gadget to you. Explain. Oh wait, didn't someone tell me what Greggs was? Oh yeah, I was playing Spyro 1, I was in the Dr. Shemp level, and we were talking about Greg's. I have like a weird memory for like, knowing when, um, like when we talked about certain things on the stream. I can like see the, uh, the, um, like the level that I was playing. Oh yeah, Nova, mis we all try to mispronounce each other's names. Or just like, I think, <laughs> I think Bio was joking, that was like, he just didn't, he had to check what my name was. He was like, my good childhood lifelong friends, Novayan and, uh, God, who was it? Regular Pat. Um, so now we have the, um, I guess I put the Raider on square, no reason not to. And then, uh, the Super Hoop. It was called the Super Hoop in America, but in Europe apparently it's the Dash Hoop. Um, which is fine, I guess. I like the Super Hoop better, it sounds better, you know? Super Hoop. Oh yes, cheap but delish, delicious-ish bakery chain in the UK, famous for a good sausage roll. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Um, yes, here's how the monkey radar works. You, uh, you just spin it around, and it's like, hey, there's a monkey over here. I can see it with my own two goddamn eyes, but, you know, sometimes they're hidden. And you can use the super hoop to go up slopes like that. I think this guy's name is literally Slope. Yep. <clears throat> and then the monkeys with the dark blue pants are super speedy. Pogo. Super hoop. Gotta go fast. <clears throat> so probably best Fish off help. equipping the soup, the super hoop. Yo, Kanoa, we'll get this up to J Grab 394. <laughs> Rank every ape and ape escape too. <laughs> yeah, that that'd be a great way to spend hours on something that four people would watch. But thank you, Kanobo, for gifting this up to J Grab. Kanobo is on a roll bowl, as I said last night or uh, Thursday night. My days are. I didn't sleep very much after uh, finishing that video. That was like 14 hours straight of editing, and it was already mostly done when I started. That's how long this took. <clears throat> oh no. <clears throat> what the fuck? Catch him. Whiz. Got the eggplant bees. I 
I have no idea how they came up with like we're just gonna fucking fuse fruit and animals together or vegetables. <clears throat> and you join Twitch for my streams? Yo, Twitch needs to be sending me a bigger cut. This is ridiculous. Bug Snacks. Isn't Bug Snacks like that game that uh Oh wait no, I'm thinking of Bug Fables. There's like everyone's like, oh Paper Mario, like a really good Paper Mario uh like um adjacent game is Bug Fables. Bug Snacks is something else. Lily. Ooh, there you go. Bug Snacks. A cookie, thank god. Oh yeah, I like the... They do like specialized monkeys. What? What? How did I catch zero monkeys? Okay. <laughs> that was Olay. And this one's his trip, I think, because he keeps tripping. Genius. Classic comedy. Sony Pokemon attempt? Uh, I see. Oh yeah, you can use emotes. Um, you know, it supports the channel. Uh, Twitch sends me a little bit of, uh, of moolah for each sub. Which is, you know, definitely needed. <laughs> you can't use your new... this is done. I know, I didn't mean to hit the phone, I meant to hit the pig! The Ow! Wow. Um, we are going to try to catch all the monkeys. I'm just going through the levels, and then once we have, you know, any extra gadgets that we might need to get more monkeys, we will come back. See, that's another thing I like in games, when you get new stuff... Whoa, okay, camera angle. Um, okay. <laughs> when you get new stuff, to go back to old places and get the things you couldn't get yet. I always love that. Cage 1 and Ape Escape. It's always fun. Spyro. Oh, Wendy's redeeming an impression. Alright, what do you want? <laughs> What would you like? I gotta push this block. <clears throat> you know, I played Banjo, like, a little bit on an emulator. Sora from KH1? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, you're stupid! Sooner or later, they'll swallow your heart! <laughs> you're stupid! I'm trying to hit that, uh, KH1 Sora is, like, impossible. That's literally, like, I'm trying to bring my voice back to being 14. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real? Or not? <laughs> uh, but yeah, Banjo-Kazooie, I played um, a little bit on an emulator. Um, I liked it, I just... Uh, I think I was probably like 13, 14 when I played it, and um, I wasn't wise enough to like know that I could like get a controller to play it on the emulator. So I was just playing with like mouse and keyboard, and it was bad. But, um, you know, I think it's solid. I just, uh... <laughs> Oops. I did a Zora impression by accident. I feel like those games need a proper remaster, huh? Burgit? There's no way you're taking Kyrie's heart! <laughs> Pop banana. Oh yeah, so there are um like the Freaky Monkey Five. They're the boss monkeys. Yeah, I think HJO was probably Sora's age when he voiced Sora in KH1. Oh. Oh. Master Kyblade. Oh. Oh, we can look it up. Let's well, see, Kaylee Joel Osman is currently 33, 33 minus 19, Yo, wait. <laughs> I love this fucking guy. Was he 18? I didn't finish doing the math there. Come on, then. <laughs> well, you're definitely not a coward, I make a joke about the Magnum Loader in uh, KH2 being the Don't coolest you know unicyclist I can think of, but I forgot about Monkey Blue! Let me give you a lesson in road safety. Come and get me. Look at this guy. Look at this absolute Chad. Um, impression-wise? Whatever you want. Listen, I have a uh, thought about what the people want. But always pay attention to uh, streetlights, kids. Get back here! Up, up, 
bum, bum. Did you say damn it? Did you hear that? Did that monkey just say damn it? Okay, you said you you punked that time. <laughs> Posture check. Thank you, Carly. This is an E game. E10 wasn't even a thing yet when this game came out. You're saying damn it? Got really loose. This can't be! Did she say hell? I don't think so. I don't think Larxene did. Yeah. Maleficent says hell in uh, Birth by Sleeve. Yes. Imbeciles. That's the spirit! So that was the friend that Spectre was talking about. Why is it in quotes? Are they more than friends? Spectre, Blue Monkey, OTP. There you go. H.J. was the perfect age for when he voiced Sora. A 14-year-old voice and a 14-year-old. KH1 was E. KH2 is, I believe, E10. Yeah, E10 was a thing at that point. And then KH3 is also E10. It's always been E10 since that's been an option, I believe. Yeah, Levisense just quoting the movie. I won Port Calm. Sorry, we gotta use our gotcha machine. Concept art. Look at Pipichi. Look how dumb he used to look. He had Mario overalls. I just fucking loved sitting up at night as a child, just uh, using money on the gotcha machine. Ah, uh, Mrs. Potts. And all the powers of hell! See, I don't play, like, I don't gamble in real life. I've never gone to, uh, I've been to casinos, but I've never actually gambled. Castle Frightmare. Um, and I don't play, like, like, gotcha games or, like, microtransaction games. Castle Frightmare is really cool. I guess we're in Transylvania now. <clears throat> Yo, my favorite level, though, is Casino City. Oh, I like Mario Odyssey. It's in my top 50. Um, I've never played... Oh, I played uh, Delta on Switch, so that's always an option, I guess. I haven't played it since... I think I got a year after it came out, so it was like 2018, right? Yeah, Casino C the music in Casino City. I was just so fucking jazzed as a kid. I'm still jazzed. Like, my, I don't know, you just have memories with certain games, like, when you get them. Like, I remember, okay, back in the day, well, this wasn't a Blockbuster game, I bought this, but, like, after, like, school on Friday, like, you know, at least every other week, my dad would, we would, like, go to Blockbuster, or, like, go and, like, like go to Target. Like, if I got, like, good grades on my tests or whatever, we would, um, go and I'd get a game, like, Ape Escape 2. I just went home, I was, like, he's like, you can stay up as long as you want, you know, it's, like, it's Friday night, I must have, like, done good at something. And uh, I was just like sitting up in the kitchen. I, we had a little TV in the kitchen. It was like, you know, probably smaller than my monitor here. And I was just like up all night until like three in the morning, eating a big barrel of cheese balls, playing Ape Escape 2. And I just got the Casino City. I was like, this game is the fucking shit. <laughs> um, I just, it's a very cherished memory for some reason. <clears throat> he does kind of look like a, I've never watched a Steven Universe, but um, this looks suspicious. Guys, this might not be a painting. It's the Monka Lisa. Yeah, yeah, Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my dad is a legend. I mean, you've seen him. You guys have seen my dad. He's a legend. We're trying to get uh, back to recording another part of the, you know, the dad play. Uh, for KH1. Ow! These, these guys always give me trouble. Monk Quixote. They had defeated him with a windmill attack. That's why he died. Also, they fused a this candle with an owl. Kenoble gifted a sub to VK Studios 2. Thank you, Kenoble. 160 gift subs. But yeah, dude, I loved, like, rented a Blockbuster game. Luigi's Mansion. 
Um, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Pikmin 1. A lot of GameCube games I got through uh, Blockbuster, and then I would buy them later. And, like, objectively, everything is better now and more accessible. But, um, you know, it was just a cool... It was just, like, part of the experience, you know, just going there and... With movies, too. I mean, I, I wasn't really big on, like, <clears throat> rent movies from Blockbuster. I was really all about the games, but... It's just, like, a, you know, a neat little slice of, uh, culture that we've we've lost, but probably for the better. <clears throat> yeah, regular Dad is an absolute fucking legend. Monk! Oh, yeah, the white bombs are the, uh... <clears throat> oh, my voice is really giving up. Uh, the white monkeys throw bombs, and they have poor eyesight. Ow! I'm going to die. <clears throat> Count Monkula. You took the, the last... The, the, you took a copy of Okami from Blockbuster? Kind of a legend move. That's right, it was about spending quality time with regular dad. Oh man, I missed the multiplier. <clears throat> this guy's gonna own me. Oh, but he's gonna give me a cookie. The game pities you. They're like, here you go, you fuck up. Thank you. Pierce. He pierced my soul. His sword was the soul that pierced my abdomen. Oh yeah, regular dad will be back. I promise. Come on. Come on! There you go. Nana. In the original, I believe they were Jekyll and Hyde. So. That sucks. <clears throat> oh yeah, my dad wants to play again. He's like, I gotta talk to my fans. I gotta talk to the people. I was like, I know. Just gotta get this compendium out. I'm pretty sure it'll be, like, either, if not the next thing, then the thing after that, uh, that'll be the next upload. Will be part two of Regular Dad. Pineapple Finch. Um, those are, like, helmets, Oracle. Also, High Oracle. Um, you can call him Regular Patriarch. I'm sure you love that. Um, but yeah, the, the helmets, like, give them increased brain power, I think. Oh, a big cookie. That fills up your cookie meter. We needed that. But yeah, my dad, uh, Part two would be starting uh, Traverse Town. <laughs> yeah, this is Lee before the scene in Radiant Garden, even. Before he uh, was in Radiant Garden, he grew up in this travel station where he captured monkeys and he had a British accent. Fight a Z factory. Oh, I love the music here, too. Factory levels, always fun. Let's go. I feel like my favorite stretch of levels in the game is, like, Castle Frightmare up until it's this, and then Casino City, and then um, either, it's either Snowball Mountain or the Ninja one. It kind of lost the thread of, like, every level being based on a country. Now it's just like, here's a factory. Uh, that's Pipichi on my head. Uh, he's a friendly monkey. Um, he gives you hints. I, you know, it's usually kind of obvious what you what you need to do, so it's not usually needed. But uh, if you die, he'll give you a cookie. Oh yeah, it's uh, kind of like a lightsaber if you ask me. Um, someone asked me, will there be a regular dive stream? Probably not a stream. Um, I don't know if because that would be, you know, that those are typically longer. Um, I don't think he'd really want to do that for too long. Um, so we'll probably keep that to like pre-recorded stuff. Just so we I think he's just more comfortable doing that too. Um cage one's my favorite. <laughs> I'd be uh, surprised if anyone hadn't uh I always think people are memeing on me when they ask that because I feel like I very much uh wear that on my sleeve there. Ow! As in Capone, they both wielded guns. Game theory. Let's get back here. Oh 
chomp. He got chomped instead. That's a good point, Kenobo. I just <laughs> I thought I was just like so obnoxious about how much I like Cage One. Not only is it my favorite Kingdom Hearts game, it's my favorite video game of all time. But uh, least favorites probably recoded if we're if we're doing that. Ba -na -na -na. Like recoded is like the only one where I, like I feel like I never need to play that again. You know, I get it. No, like two is my number three favorite. Everyone thinks I don't like I, that. I hate two. It's because I'm like I'm just someone who points out the flaws. You know. I've never mentioned that. Yeah, you're right. I've never mentioned Link Cage. <laughs> I mean, I've played Union Cross. I just, I did a little bit of Dark Road. Just, you know, I don't care. I, <laughs> I, I'm fine with the story. I just don't feel like sifting through. I'd rather just watch the YouTube video of the story. You know, none of that, of the gameplay, uh, really speaks to me. Like, it's, it's satisfying, I'll give it that. Like, the feedback is good. It feels good to collect medals and use them, and, um, you know, the artwork is nice and everything, but I don't know. The jewels shit, the, uh, I don't know. It's it's just kind of thoughtless. I'm sure there's actual thought that you can't apply to it. Just when I was playing, I just it just felt mind-numbing. So I'm not knocking anybody who enjoys it. I just, it's not for me. Oh yeah, the jewel. I mean, Union Cross is done in June now. I think they pushed it back to June. Also, look at the fucking Pipichi mech. Little guy on top of our head. He has a mech for some reason, and he has a rattle of doom. Look at his fucking spike rattle. Watcha! I think Days is, um, you know, I, I always say as a game, I don't really like playing it, but as an experience, um, that's another game that I have, you know, fond memories of initially getting. Um, you know, it was very, uh, I just think there was, like, a bubbling tension in that game. <clears throat> and the character work is so good, you know? Like, you have, you've had, uh, Soriku Kairi around for almost 20 years, but I don't feel like they have as strong of a connection as the Ice Cream Trio in Days. You know, same goes for Terra Aqua and Ben, like... Oh, uh, get out. Capture. Come on. Phil G. You know, he, have, he has to have the G in order to uh, differentiate him from the other Phil monkey that I haven't seen. I don't know if it exists. Step on you. Bam. Yeah, I always thought that was so cool, playing as the organization members. <coughs> Boom. Get back in the mech, Jimmy! Or Hikaru, sorry. <clears throat> hey man, that's alright, everyone's gotta start somewhere. I mean, it's basically just Cage 1 again, so... <laughs> like, that's the thing, like... The games that I, uh... You would think I would like the games that are just Cage 1 again, but... I mean, I like Calm, right? But... Um, you know, I like Birth by Sleep more. And then Coded is just calm again, basically. It just waters down a little bit each time. <clears throat> <clears throat> Recoded was Pog? I mean, if you say so. I wish Kiwi were here to talk about uh, Recoded. He hates it. Um, I think Days is better than DDD is a fair take. I'm not gonna really argue with it because I'm I'm not gonna be one to rush to Dream Drops defense. Yeah, Tweedledee. <laughs> I'm Tweedledum, Kiwi's Tweedledee. What the fuck is this camera angle? What the fuck? Fuck the mech, I'm just gonna catch this guy. Skippy. Yes. <clears throat> 
Can I take a look at the Kena? Yeah, I'm familiar with Vcast. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've read, like, the wiki article about it. Um, you know, it's not canon, so it's, like, it's hard to spend too much brain energy on it, but, uh, I think it's... I won't even say it's neat. I'll just acknowledge it sure does exist. <laughs> but, yeah. What's going on, Brett? Catch some monkeys, you know? Pipichi 5. Uh, again, glad they settled on the current Pipichi. That's, uh, I don't know why they're going with, like, a king motif there. I never played Monkey Ball. Um, I'm trying to think. Isn't Monkey Ball just, like, um... Like, the whole game is, like, those puzzles from Breath of the Wild that I hate. Is that GameCube? I've never even, uh, owned a Monkey Ball game. Yeah, I have a Switch. Ooh, nice, Brett. Yeah, I mean, I love all three Ava escapes. Get more coins to fuel my addiction. The gotcha machine. I got the travel station. That's the song that's playing right now, in case I ever want to listen to that. Yeah, I would, um... I mean, I'm sure a VCast video will happen one day. I just need to find a good way to, like, get, you know, materials for it. Yo, my favorite level. Casino fucking city. Casino levels, bro. There's some lore coming up. Mm. Slingback shooter. Oh, it's a catapult. Bro, in the American version, it's the slingback shooter. But, uh, apparently in Europe, it's just the catapult. And they say we butchered the language. We came up with a slingback shooter. And they're like, it's fucking catapult. Look at the professor. He's fucking... He's, he's bringing it in. He's making it rain. Who's on the dollar? Yeah, but VCast was um, a non-canon phone game back in, like... I want to say, like, 2006? Maybe even earlier? 2003? Oh, it's 2004. What it means is... It's all a big mess. Yes, yes. So that's <clears throat> why that monkey was causing mischief. Hmm. In that case, we'd better get going. I'll rush back to my laboratory. Uh, for now, you just October 2004 for Japan, possibly. February 2005 for America. Will do. But I must say, I'm a little worried about Pipochi's safety. I think BBS Trio is stronger than um, than uh, Destiny Island's Trio because I think Ven is probably stronger than Kyrie, unfortunately. Yeah, they say pants to trousers, that's true. <laughs> Yo, I love this track. I can gamble, feel my addiction. Ah! There are rats that come out, and they'll steal your money, but if you kill the rats uh, before they run away, you can, like, double your money. Where's he at? He's called a lousy rat. Also, the pigs are blue now. Go figure. I don't know why. I don't think they've changed at all besides being blue. Maybe they're a little bit faster. Yeah, this... I would definitely grind, uh... I'd grind coins in this level. There he is. All right, we're gonna let him steal from us. Then we're gonna catch him. Ah, yes, yes. Look at all those beautiful coins. Feel my addiction. Look at it go. Look at it go. Yeah, at this point, you know, I've been playing this game for like two hours as a kid. I was like, holy fuck, I love this game. Oh no, no! Oh, I blew it! I blew it! What can you stream? Anything. <laughs> you put your mind to it. Uzi. Because he has an Uzi. What does that say? Ape. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely one of the first, uh, like, collect-a-thon games I played. Okay, steal from me. Alright. No! Don't die! Pay with your life! Look at all that delicious money! This game just turns me into, like, an uber-capitalist. Mm. 
Money with a U, that's right. I believe this monkey's called Jessica. At least in the American... See, some of the monkey names are different, so I still remember the American monkey names. But in America, I'm pretty sure this one was named Jessica. There you go, they kept that one. Oh yeah, we have the Slingback Shooter, a.k.a. the Catapult. I wanted to 360 no-scope that button, but I don't want you guys to... I don't want your brains to melt, so I chose not to. Vincent. Tashi Station. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I, I ate my subscriptions. Fucking ate them. They send me a little piece of paper that says, you know, Kingdom's Oracles is subscribed to you on Twitch, and then I eat the piece of paper. That's how I gain all of your powers. Everyone's powers are mine. My friends are my literal power. Die, you fucking blue pig thing. Bow. I've never played Fortnite, and I think I'm fine with that. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure it's fun, just not my kind of game. Regular pet Twitch subs try form. That would just turn me into a really cool guy. That was Clint Apewood. That was... Jimmy and Seagal. Wow. Look at those puns. I don't think those are in the original. But like, some of the names are funnier and more creative. Ulysses. I believe there is a cookie in his face. Boom. Yeah. That's right, you all disappear. I just have... I, I use my drive form... You'll all, you'll all go to a big white void, and then you'll wake up, no memory of what happened. I'm gonna shoot this one for no reason. Boom! <laughs> Ow! Well, I kind of earned that. Shaft, shaft. Ba -na -na. Oh no! <laughs> Get shot, idiot! Oh yeah, the Black Pants monkeys just have machine guns. Jackson. I think, uh, whatever happens when they become cards, um, in Chain of Memories, that's what happens with Donald and Goofy. Um, when you go into a drive form. Someone asked, uh, VK Studios asked, what's my favorite movie? I would say, um, A Christmas Story, um, from 1983. That is a very dearly beloved movie for me. I think it's like um, just a really neat series of like vignettes you can kind of just I think it's like the perfect Christmas movie. Um, there's a reason why they marathon that because it's like you can just pick it up at any point and it's just like doing a little episode basically. Like there is like the overarching idea of like Ralphie um, trying to get the, the BB gun but um, like every five minutes or ten minutes there's like a different little story. Um, I think it's just really neat. I know some people don't like it, but... Yeah, it's dearly beloved. Mama Luigi 9000 is now following. What's up, Mama Luigi? Well, that's a Mama Luigi to you. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's why I was. I said Shaft. I was trying to uh, replicate. <laughs> My voice isn't doing too hot today. <clears throat> yeah, they did make a terrible Christmas Story sequel. Um, I didn't watch it because I just... Why would you bother? None of the uh, original actors. Um, you know. I never like when they do that. Like, don't bother. Don't don't try to tell me that it's Ralphie. That's not Ralphie. Ooh, favorite song of the whole series? Man. Well... <sighs> I really like A Very Small Wish, which is the uh, posture check from Jacob Knotts. Jacob Knotts announcing himself with a posture check. Um, I love A Very Small Wish, which is the Monster Field theme. 
Yeah, unfortunately the old man is, uh, is long gone. I have not seen Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, I haven't seen any Marvel stuff outside of, like, the MCU movies. Like, I haven't seen WandaVision yet either, but everyone's telling me I should... Oh man, I have a lot of coins to spend. I don't think I'm going to spend all 400 of them. Basically, just want to make sure that you're not maxing out at 999, because then you're getting money that you can't use. We'll just use a couple right now. I mean, I'm, I'm very reluctant to say, like, oh, a very small is my, like, favorite track, but... I don't know, I mean, I think it might be, like, I just, I, I like listening to it more than, uh, than any other, um, any other song, I think. It appears that the tail of an electric eel acts as a negative electrode and the head of a positive electrode. They have a total power of 800 volts. Great! My research has advanced even further. Why are you researching electric eels, Natsumi, instead of figuring out how we can end this monkey apocalypse? Yeah, Jacob announces himself with a posture check. Maybe he's like, well, I think we'll get down to like 300 coins and then we'll go to the next level. New gotcha gadget. More like nerd Sumi. Do a comic strip. Guys, these are always so funny. They're always complete bangers. <laughs> Hikaru, a monkey magic show. Disappearing monkey. Will they really be able to do it? Fush, swoosh. He's gone. You cheated. You just used the monkey nets. Wow. Look at that. Peak comedy. Oh, yeah. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo can get a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah. Fucking monkey fables. That's like the junk prize. Yeah, I guess the joke was that, like, oh, he's a magician, but he had, like, the monkey net. You capture a monkey, it just sends them to the monkey park. So that the joke was that, uh, the monkey just, like, captured his friend with the net. Yeah, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo is, uh, definitely, uh, like a, a bad earworm, for sure. Oh, another fortune, okay. Right, before we get this fortune. It's a gamble, right? Because we got a pretty good fortune last time. But if we, uh, should we... <laughs> is this going to be the cannon fortune? Or should we stick with the fortune that we had? We can pick, right? There's no bearing on the gameplay here. Because um, the fortunes range from very bad to very good. So it's like... Hmm. Your boss is planning a trap for you. Fortune's bad. Well, I have no boss. Only NordVPN and YouTube. <laughs> but they're planning a trap for me. I'm gonna stick with a good fortune. <laughs> hey, Karen, <clears throat> oh, the RC car. Hey, Salem VV is now following. What's going on, Salem? I'm gonna go to the gadget trainer. Yeah, I think um, Olympus Coliseum as a track is pretty uh, kind of bland. Um, it's very like atmospheric, but not like something you would listen to. Um, I do love both of the uh, underworld tracks, though. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Under the sea is um, is uh, it's in that like bibbity bobbity level, but it's like not as uh, you know, damaging to your brain. I mean, this is Halloween. Like, if we're like gonna rank all of the tracks that come from Disney movies that they use in the game, I think like this is Halloween's the best. And then what are the other ones? There's, um, Under the Sea, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Isn't there another? Wow, am I missing something? 100 Acre Wood. Yeah, I would rank 100 Acre Wood, like, below Under the Sea, but above Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Someone said... See ya, Jacob. Oh, yeah, you got a friend to me? Ooh, I really like... Oh. I think that's like second to this is Halloween. Um, you got a friend in me. <clears throat> Favorite Winnie the Pooh. Yo, I loved um, the search for Christopher Robin. It was like a uh, directed VHS um, Winnie the Pooh movie. I watched the shit out of that as a kid. Come here, you. 
Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, he's a pirate so good. Hmm. But I love this is Halloween. Okay. Here we go. This is Halloween. He's a pirate. You got a friend in me. Under the sea. Winnie the Pooh. Bibbidi Body Boo. What's the worst comment I've gotten on a video? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, hmm. Someone was like, um, something about like, oh, my beard like looks like a bunch of shit on my face or something. See you, Ruthie. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I served Christopher Robin so good. Um, <clears throat> there's a famous comment that's like a big joke in my, on my Discord. Thank you, Ruthie, you as well. Um, why isn't this opening? What the fuck? Did I not do something? Um, the big joke in like my Discord is that comment that like, oh, that's where we came from. Um, this comment that was like, this guy has like a weird vendetta against women because he like talked about like, he made a joke about like getting canceled and like people getting me too Um, that was like, I mean that, that wasn't like a, like a bad comment, I guess. It was like, it's just a misinformed comment because if you know anything about me, I'm like, you know, the furthest from that. Um, what's another bad one that I got? I got one that was clearly, you know, from someone who didn't, uh, um, I think just stumbled across the video that was like, you you talk too fast, fucking idiot, or something. <laughs> and I responded, listen faster, idiot, or moron. Oh yeah, if you drive the car into the water, it just fucking explodes. Watch. Oh wait, I can't steer it from when I'm in the water. Damn it. I'll drive it off, though. <clears throat> you talk too fast. Um, let's drive this car off. I want to see the explosion. <laughs> like, why does it explode? Why does it not just sink? <laughs> so extra. Best monkey name is Patrick. Uh, there's a Patrick monkey. And, um... Uh... I can't, it's an ice level. It's not Snowball Mountain, it's the other one. Uh, someone asked, um... Favorite Zelda game? Um... Breath of the Wild, and then Wind Waker. Um... I've only played a couple, but I would rank it Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, uh, are the ones that I've beaten, I guess Ocarina of Time. Oh, but I like Twilight Princess, okay. I honestly probably like Twilight Princess more than Ocarina of Time. I mean, that game is good, it just didn't age great, you know? Too slow. Um, I only played like a third of Majora's Mask, but I really liked it. I probably would, if I beat Majora's Mask, I'd probably rank that above Twilight Princess. But, um, I, okay, I'll go, here's my final answer of the ones that I've beaten. Breath of the Wild at the top, then Wind Waker, then Twilight Princess, then Ocarina of Time, and then Original Legend of Zelda. Those are all the ones that I've beaten. I've played uh, a couple others, like I've played Spirit Tracks, I've played Phantom Hourglass, um, uh, Link's Awakening DX. Come here, you fucking ninja monkey. You blue-suited ninja monkey. <clears throat> Oh, I don't think so, Crystal. I think I think half of the fun is uh, the exploration there. I mean, the sense of exploration in Breath of the Wild is almost unparalleled to any other game that I've ever played. Um, that game just like shows and doesn't tell. If you don't treat it as like, a, okay, I gotta you know like go and uh, progress the plot and just like take it as like an experience kind of game. Um, no, I totally disagree. The, the map is not empty, like. <laughs> There's so much to do. Um, a lot of it's not even like, you know, part of uh, like any mission structure. This There's help. so much environmental storytelling. You can almost get the sub to Crystal. Yeah, Wendy, let me just do that for you. You think I can afford to buy everyone capture cards? <laughs> Listen, I wish. I mean, the weakest part of Breath of the Wild is, like, the story. Like, I don't give a shit about... I mean, I never give a shit about the story in Zelda games. Um, that's just a me thing. Um... <clears throat> Goodbye! <laughs> See ya, Jacob. Oh no, the monkey destroyed the car!
I mean, I think the main allure to Zelda games up until Breath of the Wild, and Breath of the Wild still had this, but like, the point was like, puzzles, you know? Like, everything else was kind of like, an auxiliary component. Like, the story, the combat, um, you know, the exploration was all just like, you know, dressing on top of what was a puzzle game. You know, it's an adventure puzzle game. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess Legend of Zelda, like, original and, you know, Link to the Past, like, they were, like, I, I, it's hard to really define the genre there, I guess. I mean, I want to say primarily it's about, you know, doing puzzles. Like, that's not what, it, like, a KH1 is not primarily a puzzle, obviously. Like, you're, it, the point is to fight things. I wouldn't say that the point in any Zelda game is to fight things, unless you're talking about Hyrule Warriors. Um... I don't even know where I was going with that. But, like, oh yeah, like, I've never been, like, a big, like, puzzle guy, you know? Like, I... I've been told, like, oh, Zelda games are really good. And, like, I like them fine, you know? Like, Wind Waker's in my top 50. Um, I think Wind Waker and Breath of the Wild are the only ones in my top 50. But, like, it's not because of the puzzles, you know? It's because of, like, the, the exploring, the atmosphere. Like, I love the art style of Wind Waker. Um, I think it's a neat game. It was, like, my first game where I was, like, had a pseudo-open world. And I was just kind of a big empty ocean, but I thought it was cool. Um, but, yeah, Breath of the Wild is, like, everything I like in video games, you know? Like, maybe it's not the best Zelda game, but it's, like, a really good, just, video game. I'd rather, like, I think the world in Breath of the Wild is way more interesting to explore than, like, a Grand Theft Auto V, you know? Um, and maybe that's a hot take, I don't know. Like, obviously, like, driving around in Grand Theft Auto is really cool, but in terms of, like, the actual world, like, you know, you've seen one part of the game, you've kind of seen it all. Yeah, same thing with, like, an Assassin's Creed. I'd rather run around in a Breath of the Wild than, like, any Assassin's Creed game. Oh, presto! <laughs> Would you care to presto, you're drunk. It's only 4 p.m. <laughs> also, I hate all this. He was actually voiced by the voice actor for Gary Oak, I believe. Um, that's true, Salem. <laughs> No, Presto's an ancient being. <laughs> that thing's got a massive fucking cock. This, this monkey- Oh god, I wasn't ready! <laughs> this monkey clearly has a, you know, uh... I would say not by the books affection for uh, Hikaru here, for Jimmy. I'm not endorsing this. Ew, stop thrusting towards me. You want him to charge at you and then dodge so you can. Ah! Get spiked, idiot! Kind of like Buzz from uh, Spire 3. <laughs> yeah, press to try committing death after seeing Yellow Monkey. I think that's canon. I don't want to see this anymore. Ow! His voice was so much funnier in uh, the US version. I have not played any of the Dragon Quest games. That is, was that, 11? That's the newest one, right? Um, what, uh, what would you say that's... Can you give me, like, a game that that's similar to? Because like, I really have no idea what kind of game that is. Um, I was going to say preferably compared to something I've played, but it's not like you would know every video, <laughs> video game that I've played. But you can, actually. Um, if you do, uh, exclamation point, Pat's Games, you can see a list of all of my video games. I did not play, uh, oh, I, I played a little bit of it. Um, I didn't beat it. I played, like, maybe three hours of it. Um, I did not like it, I just kind of, I wasn't super pulled in by it. Ow! Classic 90s RPG. So it's all turn-based? Also, you don't get to capture this monkey. He runs away. See, for some reason in my head, I was like... Think of it as like a Monster Hunter thing of some sort. Um, or like, kind of like a Final Fantasy VII remake where you're like running around in real time, but... Interesting. I never played Dark Cloud, no. 
<laughs> yeah, I uh, I really like um, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, the other the SpongeBob movie game was actually really good. I think we talked about this on stream before, but like SpongeBob games are usually pretty good in that PS2 GameCube era. At least when they were like trying to be platformers. <clears throat> That's the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes the big, large yellow monkey runs away from you. Yeah, mad jiggle physics. They were like years ahead of their time there. Yellow monkey escape too? For some reason, in Ape Escape 3, they switch the noun and adjective, and it's like monkey yellow. Monkey blue. It doesn't really uh, make sense to me, but. Jizzle, jiggle physics. Are the, yeah, they had. Ape Escape 2 had 2020 FF7R jiggle physics in 2003. Yeah, Darkwing Duck is. Isn't it? Which one? There's like, there's like an edgy Donald and an edgy Daffy, right? Darkwing Duck. I'm actually having trouble remembering. Also, we have another fortune. I want to look up Darkwing Duck real quick. Wait, I mean, Darkwing Duck was Disney, yeah. What am I? Wasn't there like a Daffy Duck thing? Wasn't there like? <laughs> Was it like an edgy Daffy cartoon? Edgy Daffy Duck. I guess not. Huh. I guess I was just imagining that. Duck Dodgers, is that what it is? Hmm. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I know this isn't super interesting. Okay, so it wasn't like Edgy Daffy, but it was like a different uh, Daffy character, I guess. Or like a different take on it. A fortune. Today's fortune. Our third fortune of the day. Try wearing wellies on your head. This will be the... What are wellies? Is that a UK thing? What the fuck are wellies? We've done a lot of Googling today. Angriest Owls. What are wellies? Boots? <laughs> Androgyny? Boots? Okay. <laughs> is this is this a UK thing, or am I just... Uh, I don't get this. I think we would call these, like... Uh, what would we call these? Yeah, I would, I would definitely mind that. I would not want to do that. <laughs> I think they're like galoshes, we would call them. Maybe? No. Interesting. I'm learning a lot. I've never heard of wellies. Um, so <laughs> I'm just led to believe it's like a UK thing. Yeah, I think we would just call them rain boots, right? I gamble. A note from Spectre. Oh my god, the villain's taunting us. Le lead? Oh, lead should not be made into a sword. Okay. You cannot make a silk purse from a monkey's ear. Yo, damn, that's true. Like, when you think about it, you can't really, like, make a silk purse from a monkey's ear. Damn. We live in a society. <laughs> I could not even begin to do a Bioroxis impression. It's literally just a guy talking, just like me. <laughs> a Bioroxis impression would just be me talking. <laughs> like, I don't think either of us have like super. Uh, oh my god, you do it now. Um, I don't think we have like super um, unique voices. <clears throat> Thanks, Androgyny. See ya. Thanks for stopping by. Snowball Mountain's a cool level, too. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Music here is definitely a slapper. Bad out, bad out, bad out, bad out. 
I don't know why they chose to recycle the uh, wax owl enemies here. Uh, he has a gun! He has a gun! He has a cozy yellow parka. It's Bernie! Bernie Sanders had a gun! That's so out of character. Ah! That monkey had ample time to kill me. Jibber. That sounds like a UK insult. Yeah, there is kind of some Spyro vibes uh, to this level. Come here. Were you starting from like a previous save file, Carly? Oh, the whole game? Yeah, I can kind of see that. I mean, they're both um, from, like, you know, that same sort of era. This is, like, two years after uh, the Spyro Trilogy. Three years. Wait, what, what game? This was 2003? Yeah. So Spyro 3 was 2000. Let's sneak up on this monk. Should probably try being stealthy a little more often. I feel like that could uh, pay dividends. These enemies are called, and I quote, they might be slime, which I don't know if it's a reference to something, but if you like, once you get the enemy photo, they're called they might be slime, and is it like they might be giants, like the band? I, I, I never got what that was a reference to. Fucking idiot monkey brain. Oh, wait. Sorry, I was reading a DM. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't the game know whether or not they are slime? Get it together. I love climbing poles in this game. It's just like, you could just like slowly inch up it. Or you could just do this. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And then fucking eat shit and fall. Okay. Alright. Come on now. Well. There we go. Oh, wait. No. No. <laughs> Get shot, idiot. Get down from there. Your mother's worrying about you. Parka. Named after an article of clothing. They might be slime. They have little toupees for some reason. Like, I, I just don't get it. What's the reference? Explain it to me. Okay, so it does work. When Okay. I was confused. Like, sometimes... I, I see people do, like, the, uh, exclamation mark command, and it doesn't show it for everybody, but I saw... Does everybody see that? Did everyone see when Red Nether did, uh, you know, exclamation point bio, and it gave a link to bio's YouTube? Because I see it, but I'm not sure if that's just because I own the channel. Cool, okay, good. I'm glad it works, then. Oh, yeah, my friend, uh, well, I guess, when I, I mean, I know Caleb, I don't know if he would call me his friend, but I, I probably talked to him, but we were in a, a Discord server. Um, I'd like to be his friend, <laughs> but he made that uh, Thomas the Tank Engine mod. I was there for uh, the inception of that. He also did... Um, <laughs> He also did uh, McDonald's instead of the uh, little bistro in Twilight Town. If you've seen that, that was him. What else did he do?
He did something else that was getting a lot of traction. You having a laugh, bruv? I'll shank you and your mum. You having a laugh, bruv? Hey, bruv, you having a laugh? Got it. Someone's got to coach me on my uh, British accent. Oi, bruv. You having a bit of a laugh? Uh, I don't think I've gotten... I don't really know, like, what... what uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what happens when you uh, use the lurk command? Like, what, what goes on there? Is that just, like, mute the stream or what? Like, I don't really know what that entails. Also, snowmobile time. Like, what, what the fuck? There's a whole society of snowmobile monkeys here. Bow, bow. <clears throat> my bomb jaw out. <laughs> you having a laugh, bruv? I'll shank you and your mum. <laughs> No survivors. Any other good cage YouTubers I would recommend? Let me tell you. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> you got Kino. You got David Russell. You got Ava. You got Spike Getty Bros. You got Nova. You got Bio. Look at that. I got a command for all my homies. Every single one of them. Banger after banger after banger. That's the new generation, I call that right there. The next generation. <laughs> yeah, that guy's fine. I mean, he has a weird vendetta. Uh, he loves KH1. Hates KH2. He's fine. But those other ones? It's hard to go wrong. More research from Natsumi. Here we go. I discovered an amazing fact today. A thousand years ago in India, a steel pillar was made that has never rusted. However, the reason it didn't rust remains unknown. Great fact. Okay, I'm going to look up 1,000-year-old Indian pillar rust. The iron pillar that won't rust. This one of oh, 1,600-year-old. Okay, how many years has been since <laughs> since Ape Escape 2? Because this says it's a 1,600-year-old pillar. The Iron Pillar of Delhi. It continues to baffle scientists. It's an astonishing structure that is thought to be over 1,000 years old. It is a pillar that stands 7.2 meters tall, and 1.1 meters of it is underground. Blah, 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 blah. Pillars covered in inscriptions, the oldest in the Sanskrit, dated from 375 to 415 AD. Not known why the pillar stands where it does. It's even thought that it's not its original location. No one knows its exact origin. Okay, what about the rust? Surprisingly, the rust-resisting pillar is not the only... Cool, oh, okay, it's true. Why would she not give us more details? <laughs> Sorry about the learning. Am I the Nick Fury of Kingdom Hearts YouTube? Listen, if someone's gotta be it, I'll be that. <laughs> oh my god. Kenovo. <laughs> Bro, that, that was definitely... Someone asked me, like, what was the worst comment? But, like, the worst DM I've gotten was the guy that asked me to, like... And he sent this to Bio and Nova. It was like, hey, I bought two pairs of underwear. How do, how do I look in them? I was like, block, report, goodbye. The race. Tup, 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 tup. I won't lose this time, Hikaru. Oh shit, did I skip? This time I have my turbo boots on. Click. Take that, Hikaru. Zoom. That's too fast. Crash. I won. Wow. Wow. An absolute banger of a comic. But yeah, listen, I am assembling a team. Very specific set of skills on every member, right? You got Keynote. You got David Russell. They're the music guys, right? They're making music. You got Ava doing, like, social commentary, picking apart character arcs. You got Bio doing his combat breakdowns. You got Nova doing his world explorations. And then you got me just being incredibly sexy, right? All of us together, we make the KH... It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, new keys on the block. That's what it is. The new keys on the block. And we're gonna be so powerful. I'm gonna lead us to the promised land. Oh, this, this looks way different. Did they change how it looks? It's just 
Was this the Sky Flyer in the original? I actually don't remember what this was originally called. I guess it was. Yeah, I guess it's always been the Sky Flyer, but it looks different to me. You don't like new keys on the block? Come on. Alright, something else. Come up with names for the new, the next generation of Kingdom Hearts content creators. Also, the red ones are aggro. <laughs> Let me equip the Sky Flyer. <clears throat> the goons! <laughs> The goons! Just the goons. There's no Kingdom Hearts association with it. The Fandalions. <laughs> I think I like new keys on the block better. I've not been sold yet. But she have a, we have a contest. I mean, none of these people know that this is this is what we're doing here. Like, none of the people I listed are aware that uh, they're in my team of Avengers. So, you know. <laughs> That's what I consider, like, the team. I got Spike Eddie Bros as well. They're like HQ, you know? I can't be too nice to them because uh, they're always griefing me. Pull for group name? Yeah, but I would have to come up with options. Like, I need, I need good options. I mean, no one's going to beat new keys on the block. That's so good. Come on. Just be honest with yourself. We got a poll going. <laughs> the Bastion Bunch. The Bastion Bunch. The Goobies. Donald Dimwits. Listen, all strong contenders. The Melodis. <laughs> the Melodious Nocturnes. <laughs> How dare you. Prismatic Melodies is something that uh, we throw around. That's only some of us, though. Like, I don't think Nova has a Prismatic Melody. But me, Kino, David, and Ava all have uh, one of these little guys. <clears throat> the Radiant Guardians. I don't want it to. I don't want to take it too serious. Like I don't want to. Like new keys on the block is hilarious to me. Um, you know, like no shade on the the key keepers, but it's like you know, it's a little uh, it's a little um, too serious for my liking. Ava's is called. Oh, I forget what it's called. Um, David's is just the Green Requiem. Like he just stole the Green Requiem. The rest of us have uh, <laughs> original ones. I have a list of uh, everyone's prismatic melee. They all have a design, too. Uh, let me go to art discussion. So, Abas is the Blooming Recital. Um, Bios is the Checkered Abade. Abade. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, and then Kino's is the Glass Ostinato. And now the Platinum Presto, baby. You think the poll's one sided? I think it's very fair and balanced. <laughs> How dare anyone vote for the not capitalized uh, option? The Heartless Honkers? The Heartless Honchos? Guys, no one's gonna beat the new keys on the block. My nobody ability would be tax b and my <laughs> my skill would be tax fraud. Clayton's monkeys? Now that I can get behind. Clayton's gorillas. New keys on the blade. <laughs> That's a little too much. Take it a little too far. Oh no, I almost got boned! Don't get boned! I should be able to kill this pink butterfly. Hey! You should be able to get one single coin from killing this butterfly.
Yeah, but there's not really a good nobody name for either Pat or Patrick. It's, it kind of sucks. There's too many like similar sounding consonants because you got a, a C, a K, and an X. And you throw in a T, and it's just it's a mess. I think I'm gonna die. Flamethrower, watch out! Oh, it just goes over the rock. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not Aqua's toes. We're not that kind of community. Oh, cookies, cookies. Wait. You think it needs to be Aqua's toes? <laughs> Ursula's tentacles. Tax boss fight. Um, I would demand that you fill out your W2s. Or, I don't even remember what I originally said. Was, my, was it tax evasion? I guess you wouldn't be filling out the W2s. Yeah, but listen, I gotta get I gotta get clearance from every other member of my team, you know? We gotta figure out who each person is in the Avengers. Like, if I'm the Nick Fury, even though I really should be part of the team, because I'm out there in the streets making content, you know? We need to figure out, like... Well, I, see, I don't want to really get anybody to be the Hawkeye. You know what? Actually, Spike Getty Bros can be the Hawkeye. <laughs> they can be Hawkeye. Um, I think Keynote will be... Uh, I mean... Keynote's obviously Captain America. <laughs> you know? Given on how he lives in America. God, who is the Hulk, though? All right, I mean, how many people are in, like, the core Avengers in uh, the first movie? It's uh, ScarJo... Uh, Robert Downey Jr. That <laughs> guy's doing his best. Yeah, Bioroxis could be Iron Man, that's fine. I wish there was a British member, we can have Nova be the, uh, the British person. Yo, Nova would be Vision! Oh, yeah. Well, th well Thor is Nordic, but I guess he does use, like, the accent. Man! Wait, so Nova gets to be Thor, Bile gets to be Iron Man? Who the fuck am I? I got- I, I'm just Nick Fury? <laughs> but I'm out there in the streets! I wanna be ScarJo. Kino can be the Hulk, he's always so pissed. Yes, oh good, Nuki's on the block, won the poll. It was the only option, but... Yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh. Alright, I'm just going in a loop right now. I'm just walking around the level in a loop. Alright, fair enough. Listen, I'm not saying... I'm not trying to knock Nick Fury. Like, I love Samuel Jackson. I just want to be out there fighting the bad guys, you know? I gotta go on this rowboat. I don't think I can be Captain America. I don't have as uh, chiseled of a draw, you know? I think we were just going for, like, the core Avengers in the first movie, but I could, we could definitely expand it. Listen, yeah, you know what? Let's expand it. Because I don't, wanna, I don't want us all to be locked in on, you know, we gotta get shoehorned into uh, characters that we're not, uh, you know, vibing with that well. Like, we, we don't even need a Captain America, bro. For the record, I was Team Iron Man in Civil War. I was rooting for Iron Man. I think the movie wanted me to side with Captain America. Who would I consider part of the old generation? Um, everybody that was making stuff like before KH3 came out. <clears throat> Sorry, Carly. Listen, I haven't watched it in a while, so maybe because I Civil War was actually the first MCU movie that I watched, and then um, I went back and you know did it in the right order. But um, I watched Civil War with my high school friends when it came out in theaters. We were just like walking around town. We were like, let's see a movie. Um, so we did that. And like none of us had any knowledge of any of the MCU. But um, uh, initial viewing, I was like, I think Iron Man's in the right here. Um, anyway. I mean, the Biscuits are still like around and doing stuff. Like a lot of the other people that were, you know, doing stuff a lot before KH3, they, they like are not putting out stuff regularly anymore. Like, you know, you got... And I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not shading anybody. I'm just... Like, if they're not doing stuff, that's their own business. Like, I'm sure they have their own lives that they're living. And maybe they're on Twitch, or, like, I just, I know on YouTube, like, a lot of them aren't as active as they used to be. But, you know, like, the Gamers Joint, um, you know, Soralom, Skyward, um, HMK. I mean, HMK is on Twitch and doing videos, I think. Right? I don't know. 
<clears throat> um, you know, and the biscuits were obviously, uh, you know, they're still, they're still around and doing stuff pretty frequently, at least as far as I can tell. And then, like, um, you know, Seraki is kind of like, you know, a bridge person there, like in the middle of those, those generations, I would say. Um... If you tried out the rush attack... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can hold R1 and R2 and just do a fucking body slam. I mean, you got Everglow. I never spoke with Everglow. Um, I never spoken with anybody uh, beyond people I've mentioned earlier. Um, like when I was plugging everybody, you know. I never spoken to any of the... Um, there's a rare monkey to be found swimming in an aquarium. The Key Keepers. I never talked with any of them. But I do... Oh, and then you got, like, Prodigy and uh, KZ. Like, they're... I feel like they're kind of also middle-gen. I've never spoken with Limit for them either. No one reaches out. <laughs> you know, no one... See, Buns is, like, you know, she's known for, like, Kingdom Hearts stuff. But, like, I don't think... She, I don't think... I mean, I, I, I don't know what she would brand herself as. I don't know if she considers herself, like, I am a Kingdom Hearts YouTuber. But, like, I'm not putting anyone on my team that I haven't talked to, you know? I'm sorry, you gotta you got talk to Nick Fury. What is this? Miss Banana. Bubble, bubble. How dare you boil Miss Banana. I... I just farted. <laughs> what? Wait, excuse me? Excuse me? Let me look at that again. What was the joke? <laughs> what was the joke there? Eek. Oh, the joke is that the banana was not being boiled. Instead, the banana flatulated inside this pot of water. Why is it in a pot of water? I hate this. I hate this. Guys, it's been a great stream. <laughs> I I don't know what the joke is there. That was uh man. You know, for the record, when I said like, oh man, all of these uh comics are bangers, they're like notoriously all really bad. <laughs> I mean, you say, like, disbanded, like, it's not like there's actually, like, a formal... I mean, I don't know. There's still... Most of them are still making stuff, right? Like, full disclosure, I never watched any of those people. You know, I, I got another comic. Missing weapon. Battle formation. Ook eek. Where's your weapon, private? A shish kebab. Ha 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 ha. What a funny comic, Mark. Um. A note from Spectre. Time is like a river. It flows by. It never returns. Damn. <laughs> That's deep. The blue baboon. The blue baboon. I feel like I'm very scatterbrained right now. We've been talking about like three things all at once. Oh yes, the banana rang. What were we talking about like two seconds ago? No, the banana. Avengers, right. Use all the coins, we're gonna be here for half an hour. Just using coins. Is that what the people want? Gotcha? Some gotcha action? Yeah, but the Avengers. I think I've said everything I have to say. <laughs> Everyone, okay. You know, criteria for being in the Avengers, you gotta be primarily Kingdom Hearts. You gotta have uh, spoken with me at least once. <laughs> and uh, that's it. I guess we do want to see more sick comics, don't we? They say Pipachi in this version, but in the American version they say Pipachi. But here it's Pipachi. We Sports Resort vibes? Interesting. I never played a, a resort version. Who's the villain? Listen, I, I can't speak on that. <laughs> That's uh, that's for everyone else to decide. I think uh, I think the villain or uh, you know the intolerant people out there, the the bad commenters, the mean commenters. But not knows, Miss Porter. But not knows. 
This one's just a sitting duck. It's Tunky. <laughs> oh no. I've just kind of been autopiloting these last couple of levels. But you gotta sneak a. Or you gotta use the banana ring on that one. You gotta put the hoop on circle because they're both circles. You know? It's easy. Simple. Just like Kieran X because it's the panic button. I know everyone's like, oh, Kieran Triangle because they're both green. I get it. I get it. But I need it to be a panic button, you know? Gear on X, that's right. I never spoken with Asa. Um, I have uh, raided his stream. I think he's raided mine. Um, but I've never like you know spoken with him one on one. Look at this monkey. He's trying to put his pants on. Is he going to raise the age rating? Soos. You soos, you lose. Damn, it's only been an hour. I feel like I've been playing this game for like five hours. <laughs> I'm flies, I guess. Well, I guess it's not. I guess time isn't flying. I'm just very tired because I, um, I was up all night editing. I slept for like four hours. Michelle. Yeah, I slept from like, damn, 8 a.m. to noon. Um, I was done with that video at like 2.30 and like Premiere was just not having it in terms of like exporting it. I figured out that I had not enough storage on my PC because I had transferred all my old shit from my old tower to my new one, my old hard drive. And um, there's a lot of shit on there that I just had to get rid of. But it, it would keep exporting, but like it would stop at like 40 minutes out of 50, and I was like, what the fuck? And it was because I had not enough space, so that was a dumb mistake. Yeah, you guys might waiver videos, but uh, YouTube analytics won't, <laughs> you know? I, uh, I gotta bring in the cash. Damn it. Um, I talk about this actually in the compendium coming out today, um, but I think uh, easy top five is like Crimson Jazz, Hot Rod, Dancers, which are all referenced in that uh, video, and then um, how would I round that out? Those are like easy top three. I can't really think of another two annoying ones. Sorcerers. See, Sniper Wilds, I'm not going to group in against, like, you don't ever have to fight them. Whereas, like, you got to fight Hot Rods and... Are Crimson Jazzes ever mandatory? They might not be. There's a jacket down there. For some reason, jackets represent your life force. Yeah, Crimson Jazz is just, like, this oppressive bastard. Berserkers are pretty annoying when they go into, like, their big DM. <coughs> Yeah. There's not really anything super annoying in KH3. Crimson Jazz is the big red one in KH2. They first appear when you're, um, like, right after your first Space Paranoids visit and you're, like, on your way to do, like, the Demix and the Thousand Heartless. They show up in, like, the corridors. Oh, wait, yeah, we did that. Um, I think there's only one monkey in this. Oh, there's, uh, there was the UFO monkey as well, so we got everything in here. <laughs> Oh yeah, the wizards. Wizards in KH1 are very annoying. Um, once you learn that you can uh, basically stun lock them by doing two hits instead of full combos, they get uh, much better. Oh, Mary Poppins. Uh, yeah, the Corona Heartless. I just realized there's like a big Mount Rushmore of monkeys. What is the joke here? Like we're at a beach, but like isn't Mount Rushmore in like South Dakota? Like what are they going for there? <laughs> Um, this is clearly a monkey, but we may not have the right tool to get it yet. Yeah, we gotta get the uh, 
There's a big fist tool, like a big, uh, with the magic punch it's called. Yo, my first time playing KH3, I kept getting fucking owned by the, uh, the big replica battle in Scala. Um, I don't know why. I had so much trouble with that. Get owned, Speedo. I had a lot of trouble with them, and then um, underwater Xehanort was, like, brutal. I just could not get the hang of that for a while. Defeat Pink Monkey. We're gonna get DMCA because she's a pop star. Oh, the plushies in Toy Story? Yeah, I have, like, vague memories of those of the first time. I feel like I did okay with them, but the uh, doll gave me some trouble. People definitely uh, have shipped the monkey here with other monkeys and the humans. It's very disturbing. So, uh, this is the pop star monkey. Um, <laughs> they're all kind of weird, you know? Uh, monkey blue is like the, uh... Like, cowboy, like, Casanova, and then Yellow Monkey's like this weird ninja. And this is a pop star. There's a professional wrestler monkey later. A mad scientist monkey. Banger alert. You guys enjoying the concert? <laughs> now she's going into her final form. How dare you do this to me? Right? Yeah, I think she might be lip syncing. So right yeah, the music video in the bottom right is a really cute touch. Um, um, something against pop stars? A weird vendetta against pop stars? Yes. Yes, See you, Thanks for stopping by. Now. Oh shit. This is my final test to become a star. Okay. <laughs> See, if my music career wasn't working out, I would just like make an OnlyFans, you know. But she's gonna murder us. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. When when did a uh, Pink start being a thing? I feel like she was a thing in the '90s, right? Oh yeah, Ember from Danny Phantom. That's definitely a, a, a like a uh, similar thing there. Taylor Swift vibes. He's gonna write a song about me and how bad of a boyfriend I was. Shit. Come here, you! Oh, first album was 2000, so I guess uh, Real Pink um, predates um, Monkey Pink. Ooh, the Earth Core? Yeah, they can be annoying. They're the ones that turn into Sand Snakes, right? Gotta say, I think I'll have more fun with the KH3 Compendium than the KH2 one. <laughs> I had okay, like, it was okay, but, um, I just didn't have a lot to say about a lot of the Heartless, because I find them boring. Oh, shit, I missed my window. See you, Red Nether. Alright, come on. Let's finish the job. Come here! There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it has jokes. I mean, I don't I don't think it's as funny as the first one. Um, see, the problem with the KH2 one is, like, there's a lot. Like, there's so many... Mu there's, like, there's um the Mushroom 13 are covered, like, the Nobodies, and then you have all of, like, the Cavern of Remembrance variants. So, like, all the Cavern ones, like, there's, like, ten of those, and there's, like, maybe two or three of them have a joke, because they're just, like, they're just recolors, you know? Um, so... 
I'm not as uh, happy with it, like, on the comedic side. I think it's pretty in-depth in terms of, like, the information provided. <clears throat> but, um... I mean, you'll, you'll laugh a couple of times, I think. There's some fun visual edits. <clears throat> Another fortune. Here we go. The only thing that will help you is praying to God. <laughs> what? Your fortune is very bad today. I don't want any more to do with you. <laughs> Jesus, that seems like a little much for a kid's game. The only thing that will help you today is praying to capital G God. Wow. We had a good fortune earlier in the stream, and then a bad fortune, and then a very bad fortune. I'm getting nervous. The blue baboon. Kenobu wants me to spend every single coin that we have right now. Yeah, Ape Escape is, uh... Ape Escape has... Is, God is canon in Ape Escape, we'll say that. Bonus RC car. Ooh, yes, the black RC car. We're definitely switching that out. It's faster. Ultra fast car with an aerodynamic design. Why wouldn't you switch? $20 to do it? Kenobu, okay, no, I will gladly spend all of my fictional money to get 20 real money. In fact, I will go to Casino City and get 999 coins. Ah, oh, I knew someone was going to call me on that. I was so comfy. Concept art. Wow, someone just strapped a banana to the Eiffel Tower. I'm glad they didn't stick with that. That looked really dumb. Monkey Fable. Blah, 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 blah. Boring. Spend all the coins. Kenobu told me to do it. Comfy's not posture healthy. I know, but it's so comfy. <laughs> uh. Uh. Breezy Village. We want more comics. Note from Spectre. If you strike someone with your fist, beware a kick in return. That one's kind of lame. Like, what's the... What is the uh, the moral there? Oh, another fortune. Today's fortune. You will probably have a very memorable experience. Hmm. Your fortune today is excellent. Okay, so here are all the fortunes. We have... You're gonna... 50. <laughs> Go to casino and get 9 or 9 coins. Kenobu, listen, you're the man, man. You got it. $50, I'm, I'll fucking get 999 coins. I'm gonna spend them all. <laughs> We're at the stream. <laughs> we'll dip down to four viewers. Clearly not epic. I don't know, you're clearly epic if you followed the stream here. Thank you for following. <clears throat> um, Kenobu wants me to get 999 coins and spend them all on the gacha machine. And he gave me $50 to do that, and who am I to say no to that? Let's do it. Kenobi, you've already got the gold crown for the, the <laughs> video credits. <laughs> now you're just overkill. I've already edited that part. I'll count this for the next one. This will put you this will put you in the lead for the next one. Okay, get owned, get owned. And then get the money back. Yes. Yes, delicious coins. Now it's a gambling stream. Get all these good pulls. Why? I, I, I forgot to check it in all honesty, but it doesn't make any sense. I mean, Kenobu, just say posture check and I'll do it. <laughs> do it for free. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me, though. Oh, I, I have to look into that. I meant to do it, but I was I wanted to finish that compendium. Oh, shit. I fucked that up. I should have let that thing steal from me. Alright, we can always leave and come back. We're almost there, though. Who is Pat Boyvin? I don't know who that is. Um, Kenobu, in the, um, in, like, the main videos, like, not, like, the ship posts or, like, the, like, the live action ones, but, like, the big, like, video essay projects, there's always, like, in the credits, I do, um, I do, like, the fan art, and then I do patron, uh, yeah, all the patron supporters, and then everybody who's donated on Twitch or Kofi, I do, like, whoever did the most gets, like, the gold crown at the top, and then silver and bronze. So, you've been, like, gold crown guy for, like, the past three videos or so. It's really not even close. <laughs> uh, you had you had some competition with Corrin the one time. But yeah, you'll see in the video today, at the very end, there'll be um, credits, and you'll see Kenobu at the top with a gold crown. Alright, we gotta exit and then come back.
Who is Pat Boybin? <clears throat> oh. Oh, he's, um, <laughs> Pat from, uh, Super Best Friends. Is he evil? I didn't know he was evil. I've watched, uh, their stuff before. Oops. Well, we got to suspend this. Because I, uh, wasted money by stepping on it. Another fortune. Today's fortune. If you start to get angry with someone, try taking a deep breath. Your fortune is good. Okay? Okay. It's a fruit punch. No, yeah, I know. I know Pat. He's... I mean, I don't know him. I'm aware of him. Going back to the casino. Um, I miss uh, two best friends play. Uh, the... God, in the... I think the Patreon has the crowns on it. Yeah. The only thing the Patreon version doesn't have is me doing live action talk. Because I do it, like, right before I upload. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matt and Pat and, uh... Right. Uh, Wooly. Liam. But yeah, we can only, if you scrub to, like, an hour, <laughs> you'll see at the very end, uh, I'll show you. I wish, um, it doesn't like, oh fuck, I did it again. Um, it doesn't account for gift subs, like it's hard for me to calculate. I mean, I, I guess it wouldn't be, but I just go like strictly donations there, because then the credits would be too long. Like also, here's the gift sub uh, count. But it's just like straight, you know, donations on Twitch or Kofi um, are listed on that, and then the Patreon supporters. All right, steal for me. This should get us to 999 after we do everything else. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, no. No. You fool. You foolish boy. Get over here. Oh, Jesus. That was scary. But all the coins over there, we're going to lose them. Oh, shit. Damn it. Watch out for the monkeys wearing black. Uh. Daddy, don't lose your head when you get shot at. Oh, yeah, I am. I think I'm... <clears throat> I think we pushed over 900 um, during the stream. Which, thank you, guys. That's crazy. Um... I'm not sure, I mean, I'm sure Twitch growth is probably a, a tricky thing to um, make happen, so that's uh, definitely an honor. I've had some requests to play uh, Nier Automata on, uh, on stream. I don't own it, but I have gotten um, a couple of requests to do that. I'm going to have to fucking exit and come back again. We're so close. I think we can get 50 more coins from this level. Yeah, what am I at right now? Uh, 902. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, so <clears throat> green is like the top tier. Um, gold is the middle tier. And then um, gray is like the first tier. So you should be green. No problem, Carly. Thank you for stopping by. You have a good day. Monk. <laughs> do the I don't think the slot machines respawn coins, do they? Nice, good. Sometimes I mess the colors up. I always triple check. All right, we need thirty more coins. Damn it! Do these respawn? Oh, they do. Oh, well, jeez. I was wasting time. Alright, one more coin! Yeah, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Gotta fulfill my promise. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Spend all the coins! And an Egg of Dog impression! Natsumi's research. I discovered an amazing fact. It seems that the original frankfurters were made from pig intestines, and the original Vienna sausages were made from sheep intestines. Fuck. Eggman saying pingus. Alright, let me think. Pingus! Pingus! <laughs> pingus! <laughs> Did I get that? I, I feel like I've never done that, so, uh... Snooping as usual, I see. <clears throat> God, I gotta say, today's a bad day uh, for my impressions, because my uh, monkey comics, let's go! 
Um, I just feel like my voice is shot. Another research memo. As long as it is still, water won't freeze at a temperature of minus 3 degrees Celsius. However, it will quickly freeze if it is moved. Okay. Great, my research is advancing even further. What is she doing with all this research? We have so many... We have so many prizes to get. Oh my god. Monkey fables. Boring. Yeah, I'll never have a good Dolan or a Gooby, to be honest. Ah, posture check. Ah! <laughs> my spine. What am I going to eat today? I had a Boston cream donut. That's what I had today so far. That's kind of a cool design. I don't mind that. Hikaru 8. Ooh, a comic. Sorry, DM time. Okay. Ooh, Popeyes? Oh, man. I would have to... Okay, I have to get everything ready for the video because I still need to make a thumbnail. I have to make a couple of edits because I've had a couple of um, comments from the patrons that, like, some things could use uh, switching up. And I just need to export and upload it, make sure that's set for 7. I can always get Popeyes after. It's not going to be a live premiere, so... All the doors are locked tight. The crime occurred in a perfectly sealed room. Ook! <laughs> what the? You just slipped? What? I'm sorry. Am I just not understanding these comics? <laughs> Let me look at that again. Now that I know the punchline, let's let's view that one once more. Completely seal the room. Oh, so the monkey's not dead. The joke is that the monkey didn't die. He slipped on a banana peel. And he was unconscious. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Great. Good stuff, Ape Escape 2. Keep, keep at it. Let's get more comics. <laughs> Oh, better name? Let's go, Mega Dog. <clears throat> Snowball Ski Slope. Yeah, he was unconscious. More research. Mickey's Mooks? Absolutely not. Banned. Banned, Egg of Dog. Absolutely not. No way. I'm not gonna be some Michael Mook. It seems that airbags and cars are disposable. They can only be used once. Yeah, I mean... It's <laughs> kind of obvious. <laughs> That was the worst Natsumi fact for sure. You beast! Wow. Look at that. Absolute arch. Monkey Fables. God, if, if I read every Monkey Fable, we'd be here until like midnight. More research. Oh no, that's a Spectre note. When there are fish in the pond, the shrimp are in charge. When the tiger leaves the mountains, the monkey is king. This is all just bullshit. Clayton's crazies. <laughs> Clayton's angels. Cookies that we don't need. What a fucking terrible prize. Give me cookies when I have full health. The boyo boys. Yeah. <laughs> Boil! A comic strip. Monkey test. Scratch, scratch. The monkey test. This'll be easy. Select the banana that originates in Ecuador. Oh no. Guys, which, which, what's the answer? Which of these monk which of these uh, bananas originates in Ecuador? I don't know. I'm thinking C looks like an Ecuadorian banana. Hmm. Let's see. Ah! Where was the joke? Excuse me? <laughs> Where was the joke? I have to examine each comic twice. Steve Harvey's Angels. <laughs> there you go. A little bit of a throwback. Monkey test. What was the joke? Scratch, scratch. Monkey test. This will be easy. Which of the bananas originates in Ecuador? Ah. I guess the joke is that it's... That the test is hard. <laughs> like, Jesus, these suck. <laughs> Only 834 more coins to spend. Not counting any coins we get from the gacha machine. We're gonna complete the fucking entire collection. Soundtrack. Spectre's theme, okay? See, the uh, the prizes are actually limited based on how far you've gotten in the game. So, like, you can't win a, a soundtrack for a level you haven't been to yet. 
So the prizes might start them watering down at some point. We'll see. Once we stop getting, like, unique things. Enemy photo. Wax Owl. Aqua's Angels. Hair's Toes. <sighs> I just think I can't stop thinking about Popeyes now. <laughs> How badly I want Popeyes. The only thing is, like, it's a decent drive. It's, like, at least 40 minutes, I think. On the way. Another comic strip. Oh, boy. Multi-purpose stun club. The stun club's great for catching monkeys. Hikaru. Give me the stun club now. Wow, you're catching monkeys, too? Hey, yeah, what a swing. A swoosh. Yeah, a clothesline. She used it as a clothesline. Guys, this is peak comedy. It kills me to be reading these comics. <laughs> oh. Monkey Fables. Kyrie Kids. Oh, another fortune. Today's fortune. Talking tough won't do you any good. Your fortune's fair. Just calm down and be yourself. Sorry for talking tough. <laughs> it is worth it. Listen, these comics are gold. Another one. Oh my god. Girl hunting. Oh, oh boy, where's this going? Hello there. <laughs> How are you today, ladies? Like to go for a drive in my car? A car? How cool. Let's go. This is no car. Let me off. I guess the joke is reckless endangerment. Yeah, Knoebel's the main sponsor. You know, Knoebel's uh, giving me far more money than, uh, you know, NordVPN ever has or probably ever will. <laughs> Enemy photo. There is a NordVPN uh, uh, plug in this next video. Penguin. Oh, the Popeyes. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, uh, spending money on the comics. It is worth it. Ugh. The thing with that, though, is, like, I'm gonna go get the Popeyes, and then I'm gonna eat it on the way home. And it's like, I won't even get to, like, enjoy it, like, sit down and watch some TV or something. But that's just the way of life, because DoorDash, apparently, uh, Popeyes is too far away. Splish Splash. Whoa, the room is spinning. How can you stand these glasses? Your eyes... Your eyes must be messed up. Who fucking, who fucking spell check this? I'm simply not waiting. Listen, I got Popeyes in my car. It's being eaten immediately. I'm not waiting until it gets cold. It gets cold and I have to eat it cold at home. I'm gonna throw in the air fryer, I guess. Um, eek. I'm sorry. There was no joke detected there. Inspector was like, your eyes must be messed up. The monkey took his glasses off. His eyes are messed up. Okay. Ceno City. It's a good pull. We love the Ceno City. Air Fryer is a huge game changer. Amazing fact from Matsumi. I found that watermelons have a higher water content than milk. I mean, makes sense. It's in the name. Uh, that's super surprising. I guess sit in the parking lot. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but it's kind of a skeevy area where the Popeyes is. I don't know how keen I am on chilling out there. The scent of banana. This is the banana ring. You attract monkeys with its scent. Again, the S there, the apostrophe S is incorrect. This is my English minor brain coming out. Wow, let's try it. hey -ah. No, no, it's not for you. I guess it also works on humans. Wow. Yeah, air fryers is like airplanes, you know? Don't think too hard about it. Made soup. Monkey time. You made monkey soup? That, like, episode of Drake and Josh where they... the <laughs> That guy buys a rare monkey and tries to cook it? Like, oh, you made soup, comma, it's monkey time. Like... <laughs> gotcha. I think I'm losing my mind. Um, I'm having trouble reading. I'm having trouble speaking. Oh, I gotta crash after I upload this video. A game hint. No special gadget can help you catch the monkey on top of the towering mast. It'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. We haven't gotten there yet. I know what monkey they're talking about. Ugh. Monkey fable. Enemy photo. Space can. Yo, I would love to take a nap. <laughs> I haven't taken a nap, like... Because I just sleep now. I used to take naps all the time, but now it's just like I'm up and then I sleep. 
Not a comic strip. Safety precautions. Excellent. New safety monkey helmets. But what makes them safe? Ook eek. That guy has a big log on a on a rope. Oh shit. Clud foom. Airbag. It's useless, you idiots. Jeez. What's up, Bamboogoo? Yo, I love Ape Escape. Kenobo paid me uh, $50 to get 999 coins and spend it all on these gacha prizes. So that's what we're doing right now. Yo, I definitely napped on the floor many times in college. Big throwback. Yo, Humbugu. Humbugus. For some reason, it's Humbugus on my screen. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. Two months from Humbugu. Yeah, I, uh, I was talking about it earlier in the stream, but this is a big nostalgia game for me. What's going on? <laughs> Not much. I'm, uh, getting gotcha prizes. I haven't seen you in a while, Daddy Yorha. Comic strip. Bowling tournament. Wow, another strike. Yes. Looks like Hikaru wins again. Yellow Monkey has a chance if he just stopped guttering. Wah, slip. Yellow Monkey earns a surprise victory because he fell. He fucking fell into the pins. Cheater. That's weird. The strange and rare Humbugu glitch. Oh boy. This should help. Kenobo. Give it a sub to Daddy Yorha. 162 gift subs. Thank you, Kenobo. <laughs> yeah, life sucks. Listen, life's pretty cool for me right now. I'm having a great time playing Ape Escape 2 with my buds. Just catching monkeys with some bros, you know? Concept artwork. Look at those expressions, man. You don't get that anymore these days. Yeah, it's hard to find time to live. It is. It's stressful. Today's fortune. Try thinking about things a little more. There must be a solution. Fortune's fair. Don't forget to go to the toilet. <laughs> okay. Don't forget. Don't shit and piss your pants. Fair enough. Wow, I am... I am getting, like, exhausted. I, I think the plan here, we're gonna <laughs> get all of the... Um, we're gonna spend all of our money. We're gonna do one more level. Then we're going to call it a stream, because I need to uh, make sure I have everything in place for the video upload. If you've never been fooled, you will never become an expert. Well, <laughs> thank you for the reminder to piss and shit my pants. I almost forgot. Yeah. Wise words from the fortune. Another note from Spectre. He who asks can be a fool for five minutes, but he who never asks remains a fool forever. That's actually a great Spectre note. That's the first good one that makes any sense. No, Ontario? I didn't know it was bad in Ontario. Wow. The US is just like, fucking do whatever you want right now. They might be slime. See? I don't get that. What the fuck? What is that a reference to? They might be giants? Why? Did they wear, like, swirly glasses and have toupees and they might, they might be giants? I don't know. Anyway, what was I saying? We're gonna we're gonna deplete all of our money. What's the next level? Ah, uh, it's still, still the casino one. Um, whatever the next level is, we're playing that. And then I gotta... Get my thumbnail ready, get it uploaded for seven. Posture check. Ah. <laughs> and um Jesus, that's that's terrible. I don't know. Blunder deed, there you go. I've been checked. Um what was I say? <sighs> I gotta have it ready for seven. <laughs> that's do me research. It appears that a tale of an electric oh we already got that one. That's me. You know what's weird is that the, the fortunes, the specter notes, and the game hints, and the research, they don't save um, the, your little gallery. You just you can repeat them, which kind of sucks. Can the anime is always tired? I'm not usually tired on stream, I don't think. Sometimes. Like, towards the end of it, I get tired, but, like, I've only been streaming for two hours right now, and I'm just exhausted because I was editing all night. The water cannon. I don't have the water canyon yet. Don't canyon. I can't speak anymore, guys. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I've only eaten a, a Boston cream donut. I don't. I, I honestly, it's not safe for me to drive to Popeyes right now. I, I got to figure out some, something else for food. 
Today's fortune. Another fortune. Let's be nice to people who have come from faraway places. Yeah, be nice to foreigners. That says so in the in the the, the good book, doesn't it? Don't we stream after work when you're like 20 minutes till bed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know how I did it when I was, um, you know, was taking calls for social security and then like, you know, an hour later streaming, like, I was so tired. I mean, I don't even work, I never even worked, like, I mean, the closest thing to a physical job I worked was like when I worked at a paint store, you know, I was usually on my feet there, but it wasn't like really down and dirty, you know, manual labor. I mean, I was like putting trucks away, you know, like getting shipments and stuff, but, um, you know, it wasn't like... A thing where I'd come come home sore or anything, but um, I don't know. That was more physically straining, if that. But uh, social security was definitely more mentally and emotionally straining. Um, I have no idea how I managed to do those early KH1 streams. Yeah, maybe uh, isn't Gr yeah Grubhub is the bad one, right? Uber Eats might be okay. Um, DoorDash totally let me down. Right, yeah, I, I, I hate doing, like, sorry for wasting your time VODs. You know, I've definitely had at least one of those. I think that was the crash one, right? I just was low energy, and like, I wasn't feeling it. And then there was, like, the Final Fantasy VII one, where all my progress got erased. I was like, oh, I waste everybody's time. But I feel like now, uh... Um, my brain's not working, and I'm not being entertaining. Amazing fact. Elephant seal intestines. There's so many intestinal facts. Uh, they can be stretched out up to 500 meters in length if that's if that is your bag. What a strange uh, what a strange research note. I want to go to Popeyes. I just feel like I cannot safely drive there because of how tired I am. I'm using all the coins, Kenoble. Listen, you pay me to do a job. I'm not. Listen, I'm I'm drained, independent of what I'm doing right now. You know. Um, I was I was considering canceling or putting the stream off because of how late I was up, um, but the show must go on. You know, I, I can't be uh, just a job. You know, I, I can't uh, be calling off every time I, I'm not feeling hot. Trying to put on my game face. You know, catch some monks, get some gotchas. See the the prizes have not started being. Um, non-unique yet. We're still getting unique prizes, so... I'd be curious to know how many coins you need to spend to get every single item. I've done it before, I just don't know how many coins you need. Another four- Oh, I skipped it! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry for everyone who loves the fortunes. There we go. We got a, we got a replacement. It knew. Today's fortune. Let's be nice to- Okay. Alright, we got that one already. Jesus, that's intense, Oracle. Who exactly are, are doing these studies? Are people, you know, I guess doctors, right? That's a dumb question. Medical students? Stretching out intestines, measuring how long they are? Oh boy, we're close. 13 more. Yeah, the Popeyes, you know, the nearest Popeyes to me is like, it's not like a risk your life situation, but it's like, you know, it's not a great area. <laughs> you get a chicken sandwich or die. <laughs> oh no. The thing I I've said about this, I've said, oh my god, I cannot speak anymore. I've said this about Popeyes um, before, but like, if you go there like later in the day, they just like don't give a shit. Like, they just give you, you ask for like, yeah, can I have like, you know, like the five piece tender combo? They're like, here's fucking ten pieces of chicken. Um, I really like KH3, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would say Popeyes is superior to KFC. Sometimes I want KFC, but uh, Popeyes is, is like always a win, you know. Like KFC can really slap sometimes, but Popeyes rarely misses. KFC can miss, you know. Sometimes KFC is not good. High variance for your KFC, I would say. I think I have, like, frozen chicken that I can make instead. Yeah, it is disgustingly good. It is, it, like, it's so greasy, but it's so good. Yeah. 
Secret photo, monkey UFO. We're, we're close. Look at that. The three Afro brothers. <laughs> they use the same fryer for their chicken as their fries. It's so gross. It's so good. <laughs> that really about sums it up, doesn't it? Come on, let's end on a good one. I got one more after this. Fucking monkey fables. Come on. Jesus. Concept art. Ew. Ugh. We got yellow monkey as the last thing. Disgusting. Disgusting. Alright, let's do one more level. Let's see what's up next. Enter the monkey. Oh, this is a cool level. There's a bunch of monkeys right at the start. Again, thank you, Knoble, for the $50. 17 monkeys. It's a lot. Yeah, why do the monkeys have guns? Uh, <laughs> they got they got their hands on a lot of stuff. This is so cool. Look at this. I think it's so neat. They're just simply vibing, and they're gonna they're gonna all uh, run away. Ah! <laughs> Barry. Wesley, the monkeys are metaphors for people. The game is deep. Ah! Get kicked, idiot! Shit. Come on! Jazz. Jazz. Ow! I, I can't use, uh, you can only use a minimum of, uh, ten. <laughs> Sorry. If you put four in, you just lose the coins. Anything less than ten, you just do lose them. Wasn't there another monkey? Was there not yet another yellow pants monkey somewhere? I think Kenoble is gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, there's a blue pants monkey. Kenoble was like, you can stop at 200. <laughs> and I kept going. There we go. John Paul. There's another monkey hiding in the little... In the little, uh room here. Kenobo, if I if I put the four coins in, they they, they would have disappeared forever. Also, this, this monkey's zen. He doesn't do anything. You can hit the shit out of him. He does nothing. Oh, anyway, um... <laughs> Dai... Daimian... Daimian... No, yeah, I, I had a couple of, uh... Someone in my patron chat was saying I should play Automata. Oh. <laughs> you gotta pay me to stop, Kenobo! Ha ha ha! Cutscene time. Not really, uh, usually cutscenes in, in the levels themselves, but... Yo, one of my favorite uh, stream moments that I like, no one ever remembers or talks about is like the uh, Final Fantasy VII when we're like in the tunnel, and um, I'm like using the hand to crush Aerith uh, when we're doing like the move her around puzzle, and uh, Bio paid me ten dollars to stop, and then Kenobo paid me eleven dollars to keep going. <laughs> I think it was you, Kenobo, wasn't it? That was so funny. It was just so funny seeing it pop up on screen. Eleven dollars. Keep going. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Come on, come on. Someone asked me about pineapple pizza. I said, listen, it's not my thing, but uh, if it makes you happy, go for it, you know? I'm not gonna be like, ew, how could you ruin pizza? Listen, if you want pineapple on your fucking pizza, go for it. I don't want pineapple on my pizza, but. Yeah. 
<laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> Miyazaki. Ow. Yeah, I think you need that salty sweet balance, right? What the fuck is this? Oh, that's where I came from? Oops. I did that again. Ah! You're a timid monkey. No need for fear. Johnny. I feel like that big that big base is like a secret monkey later on? Not sure. Alright, six more. Gong. Gotta say, Jimmy's uh jump is very sorry, Hikaru. <laughs> His jump is very stiff. Posture check, there you go. You're able to redeem it. You don't like it? Listen, it's uh it's not for everybody, I'll say that. It's probably a game that's you know, um something you gotta play as a kid and then you just have an attachment to it. Oh. <laughs> I, w I would understand if, you know, if it's not everybody's jam. It's it's kind of a uh, kind of niche, I guess. Get down from there, you fool. Ryan. All right, five more monkeys. And then I got to make my thumbnail upload and fucking take a nap. Eat something. Ow, dick. Get the fuck back here. Almost pushed me off. Oh, he did push me off. John Ook. You bastard. Uh, took my life. Hey, there's a monkey down there. What the fuck. Get back here, you cheeky monkey. Yeah, I'm in a bit of a laugh. And now it's out of stock. All right, I, I have to uh, look into that. That's, that's so stupid. Can I skip all this bullshit? Oh wait, there's another one over there. Jewels. It's very unique, yeah. There's really very few games that are quite like Ape Escape. Ow, dick! Can't heal C. Ook. Ready, and get owned! It did nothing? Excuse me? That was a glitch. That's supposed to knock him out. Come on! Get in the net! <laughs> uh, Martin. Uh, get caught. Sorry that I got so low energy, guys. That's what happens when you binge edit. Edit responsibly, everybody. All right, we're gonna call it a stream. Let me actually haven't saved that at all. Um, I'll lay that PSD right there. I have like two hundred percent files here, I think. All right, one and then an eighty-one and a seventy-five. As you can see, I enjoyed the video game. That'll be our, our stream file. It'll be number four. All right, folks. Thank you for joining me for some. Uh, Use the last 40 coins, all right. Um, as I do this, I'll do my, my wrap-up speech here. Thank you for joining me for some... Um, oh, we got monkey soccer. Or monkey football here. Um, some Saturday, Ape Escape 2. We'll be back on... Uh, Tuesday for more Cage 2 Level 1. That should be interesting. Got 35 deaths there. I'm sure we'll be seeing some more. Uh, maybe I'll be drinking. Not sure yet. Um... And then Ape Escape 2 will continue on Saturday. Should probably be able to beat the game in two streams, especially if I'm not exhausted. 
Um, KH2 Heartless and Nobody Compendium is coming out approximately 7 p.m. Eastern. So look forward to that. And I will leave you with this photo of this monkey looking at shrimp. Yes, drink. Uh, let's see if anyone is rateable right now. Nobody that I follow is... Uh, wait, what about... I don't follow Violin. Violin Gamer is doing... Um, looks like he's doing a KH1 speedrun. So if you want to watch that, I can send you on over there. Um... Again, sorry, sorry for the low energy. You know, I had a big edit binge last night. Um, hopefully, I wasn't too boring uh, and uh, painful to listen to. Um, I'm gonna, you know, work on my stuff, get my video ready, take a nappy, eat some chicken, etc. Let's uh, go raid Violent Gamer. He's doing a KH1 speed run. <clears throat> and here. We go. I will see you guys on Tuesday at 6 for Cage 2, and we're back here Saturday at 2 for Ape Escape 2. Bye bye.